USS Iowa, BB-61, a retired battleship, stands as the lead vessel of her class and the fourth ship in the United States Navy named after the state of Iowa. In a unique position, Iowa, due to the cancellation of the Montana-class battleships, holds the distinction of being the final lead ship in any United States battleship class, and notably, she was the sole ship of her class to serve in the Atlantic Theater during World War II. Her involvement in World War II spanned from 1943 to 1945 and commenced with an initial shakedown voyage and service within the Atlantic Fleet. A remarkable episode in her wartime history was her mission to transport President Franklin D. Roosevelt across the Atlantic to the pivotal Cairo and Tehran conferences in 1943. This endeavor required the modification of the ship, including the addition of a bathtub to accommodate the needs of the president, who was paralyzed. The shakedown cruise occurred in February 1943, followed by her voyage to Argentia, Newfoundland, as a response to the threat posed by the German battleship Tirpitz. Subsequently, Iowa returned to the United States for maintenance. In November 1943, Iowa played a crucial role in conveying President Roosevelt and other significant military figures to critical conferences. During this period, an incident unfolded when a torpedo was mistakenly launched towards Iowa during a training exercise. The ship skillfully avoided the torpedo, raising suspicions about the intent of another vessel. Iowa successfully completed her presidential mission, and President Roosevelt addressed the crew before his departure. Under the command of Admiral Lee, Iowa became an integral part of Battleship Division 7, embarking on a journey to the Pacific in early 1944. Throughout this period, Iowa engaged in various combat actions, providing support for airstrikes, participating in bombardments, and contributing to significant battles such as the Battle of the Philippine Sea. The battleship remained actively involved in operations, including strikes targeting the Japanese home islands, until the culmination of hostilities in 1945. Following World War II, Iowa underwent essential repairs and modernization, continuing her service. This phase saw her participation in the Bikini Atomic Experiments and subsequent deactivation and placement in the Mothball Fleet by 1949. Reactivated in response to the Korean War, Iowa resumed a vital role in naval operations. Engaging in combat actions against North Korean targets, the battleship contributed significantly to ground support by shelling enemy positions. Throughout this engagement, Iowa experienced leadership transitions and played a pivotal role in notable operations, including shelling industrial centers and providing assistance to UN and South Korean forces. The Korean War chapter of Iowa's history garnered several awards and honors, testifying to her dedication and contributions. As the Korean War concluded in 1953, USS Iowa continued to undertake various significant activities and deployments, marking her enduring legacy in naval history. Over the years, she engaged in training missions, participated in exercises, and contributed to operational readiness. After an eventful service period, USS Iowa experienced a phase of reactivation and modernization from 1982 to 1990. This transformation aimed to strengthen the U.S. Navy as part of the 600-ship Navy plan introduced by President Ronald Reagan and Secretary of the Navy John F. Lehman. Modernization efforts included comprehensive refitting, advanced weaponry integration, and technological upgrades, aligning Iowa with contemporary naval requirements. During her post-modernization operations, USS Iowa participated in a wide range of activities and exercises, including refresher training, naval gunfire support qualifications, participation in NATO exercises, and humanitarian missions. Iowa's service was marked by challenges, including a tragic explosion in one of her gun turrets in 1989. Eventually, as geopolitical circumstances shifted and budget cuts took effect, battleships like Iowa faced decommissioning. The battleship Iowa was decommissioned for the final time on October 26, 1990, concluding 19 years of active service. This marked a significant turning point in her storied history. Iowa's journey post-decommissioning involved various phases, including her placement in reserve fleets and considerations for preservation. The battleship's eventual donation to the Pacific Battleship Center in Los Angeles in 2012 marked a new chapter in her legacy, allowing the public to engage with her rich history. The saga of USS Iowa is a testament to her enduring role in United States naval history, her contributions during pivotal moments, and her transformation through various phases of service, preservation, and public access.
Her legacy continues to inspire and educate visitors at the USS Iowa Museum in Los Angeles, where her storied past is brought to life.